This is a new van from Bailey, but unlike most caravans that we see revealed at the show, this one was actually designed by a family, and it was designed by them as a result of a competition in the Caravan Club magazine for a different kind of layout. The layout that the Bramble family put together is one that enables the parents to at least have some evening privacy so that once the kids go to bed they can be nicely shut off, easy to get hold of in the front of the van and the rest of the van is available to the parents. I think that's a really good idea for families. This is the recess where the curtain goes that cuts off the front two bunks, the kids' accommodation if you like. There's also a rail that will go across the caravan to carry that curtain. As far as the manufacturer, Bailey, are concerned, we were just talking to Simon Hard and they're really impressed with the kind of feedback that they've had from visitors to the show on the first day when it was open to the public. And I think they're planning to actually take a further look at this to see how its commercial possibilities would work for them. When we saw the article, it was more to do with responding to the needs of the family, trying to get something that would suit as the family grew up. Um, and that was a challenge to us when we saw the competition. Plus, it was the opportunity to get get something bespoke to yourself that would meet your own needs. I think we read about the competition about March time. Closing date was July, and over that period, we just tinkered around with ideas and went through a number of ideas and kept playing with them, sketching them out, trying to work out what was the best layout graduated from a tent, we decided to move up to a caravan last year just to get away more. Yeah. And what did you buy? What is your caravan? It's a 1998 uh, Luna Solar 524, yeah. so it's the side dinette with the bunk beds. Yeah. And it works for you fairly well, but obviously yeah. not as well as this. Yeah, it, no. it works fairly well, there's things like children being as small as they are, not being in bunk beds. We like the end bathroom, so things that about our caravan that we've got now we've kept, so the end bathroom because we use quite a lot of um, certified locations or holiday meets, that sort of thing, so go places without facilities, we don't want to be tied to having decent washing facilities on the site. Um, and then there's other things like the size of the kitchen, that we wanted a bigger or a better kitchen, so different things have influenced the design. Um, one thing we did want to do was try and separate yes. children and their sleeping area from our sleeping area. Where they are in our current caravan, they're kind of in the middle of the thoroughfare, they're opposite the kitchen and on the route from our bed to the bathroom. And as you open the door, if you're sat out in the awning and they're already in bed, the first thing you see is them. So try and make it somewhere where they would have less disturbance on the night. We plan to take it away over Christmas. Um, we're still trying to find a site. Obviously, Christmas is all booked up. And until we won, won this, we weren't intending to go away. Um, but see if we take delivery of our new van in December, we thought we'd take the opportunity and have New Year's away. Um, but hopefully if we find somewhere, we'll go to Cumbria or the, the Yorkshire Dales, not too far from home. And then next year we'll look and maybe go further afield, maybe go abroad, go through France, maybe Switzerland, take it down there somewhere.